what's up y'all headed out of port clinton I had a great couple of days here with my cousins uh tommy ellie thank you guys so much for the hospitality and just just taking me in for a few days that was great had a great time with you all I learned a lot about uh my family and some different things and got to see all kinds of cool stuff around pennsylvania toured a coal mine and uh just uh it was a great time so can't thank you guys enough and uh, i'll be keeping in touch with y'all um, but as for today we're gonna get out of port clinton gonna try to do like 20 25 miles something like that you know just normal kind of day and we're headed to delaware water gap and where i'll be meeting back up with jeff so i'm on my own for a few days and uh it's going to be fun, so I'll get back to you guys with some of the trail. What's up y'all? Rocking my bug net. It is quite buggy here in Pennsylvania. Uh, getting ready to pass by the Blue Blaze Trail for the Eggville Shelter, which is a uh, shelter that's maintained by a caretaker. Uh, I'm not gonna go to it. I'm gonna keep on going, I think gonna try to finish the day up at Allen uh, something like Allen Gap Shelter or Allen Town Shelter and it's gonna make for a 22 mile day out of Port Clinton so that's the plan I think I got about nine miles to get there and it is around three o'clock so I should be able to make it pretty good time um, it's not been a bad day, really. It just uh, coming off of two zeros. I'm a little slow going, so. But other than that, been a fine day. Trail's been good. Starting to get some rocks, but it's bound to happen sometime. This is Rocksylvania, so. Um, Anyway, I'll get back to the trail and uh, on to the shelter. All right. What's up y'all? Headed to the Knife's Edge. Little section of trail. Uh, pretty much all rock and pretty wicked from what I hear. Made it to Allentown uh, Shelter last night and it was full. And started raining on me about a half a mile before I got to the shelter, so I was really hoping for some space, but it was full, pitched the tent, and it rained uh, quite a bit during the night as well. I, I mean, I stayed dry after I got in the tent, of course, but anyway, the trail is pretty sloppy this morning and uh, I know this knife's edge is going to be pretty slick so uh, that'll be fun all right
Here's the trail. I'm getting ready to start the climb up to Knife's Edge. These rocks are really slick. Water just covering them. They've got some moss. I'm gonna take my time through here. All right, I'm here up on top of the knife's edge. This is uh, kind of sketchy. Beautiful view though. Uh, me. All right, gonna put the phone away and get to working on this thing. Made it up and over the knife's edge. And it's a good thing too, cause it's starting to rain. So I couldn't imagine doing it in the rain. That'd be tough. It was tough anyway. Just, uh, you know, finding a place for your feet. Uh, but anyway, got that done. I think there's a shelter coming up in a few miles. I'm gonna stop there for lunch and figure out what the rest of the day has in store. And I'll come back in a bit. So I'm trying to figure out what my move is going to be this afternoon. It's uh, almost three o'clock. I'm four miles out from George W. Outerbridge Shelter, uh, which is kind of the last place to get water for a long time. The dilemma is do I stop at the shelter? It'd make for like a 16, 17 mile day. I'd be stopping there pretty early. Um, or do I push on uh, and climb up Lehigh Gap, Lehigh Valley, um, which is supposed to be a pretty nasty climb and it has been raining a little bit today but rained a lot last night the rocks are slick uh, I don't know I don't know if I want to climb in these conditions really uh, especially towards the end of the day Don't know, don't know. Anyway, I'll come back to you guys in a bit, figure this out. Made up my mind. I'm gonna do this, uh, <laughs> gonna do this big climb up out of Lehigh Valley here. I think, it's one of, I think it's one of the hardest climbs on the AT or, uh, I don't know, I've heard that, but we're gonna test it out. Gonna test it out here in a minute. This is fun. Or I'm gonna at least keep telling myself that it is. 
just walking across Blue Mountain Ridge. Um, finish that climb up from Lehigh Gap. It's probably the most technical climb I've done and I'd say the toughest. Um, you know, rock scrambling here and there. And I just ended up putting the trekking poles up and climbing up the thing. So happy to have that done tonight. Uh, I'd rather go ahead and like getting my climbs over with and not having to worry about them in the morning. So right now I'm just headed to a campsite about two miles out. Uh, hopefully nobody's beat me to it. It looked nice from uh, gut hook, some pine needles and stuff. So hoping to make it there and get set up. Been a good day. It's been a tough day. Knife's edge, um, a lot of other rocky areas and then that climb back there. So it's been a tough day. I think about 22 miles on the day but anyway i'm gonna get on up the trail here try to get set up i think i'm gonna have plenty of light and i've got plenty of water that's the other thing that i'll talk about later water there's not much of it out here in this little section i'm in so i'll talk about that later though see you in a bit What's up guys? Just uh, made it to camp, set up the tent, finished eating. Um, just getting ready for bed. 22 mile day today and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It was a tough day. I think tomorrow is gonna be a little bit better. Uh, 31 and a half miles away from Delaware Water Gap. So probably gonna knock out I'd say 25 tomorrow. Try to get to the Kirk Ridge shelter, I think is what it is. It's like 25 miles away. So that's my plan as of now. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, not a big deal. Um, but all right, that's it. All I've got here is, uh, this is my water. And that is all I got for in the morning and uh, about 11 miles until the next water source. So it's going to be running a little dry. But PA is not, not really known for their uh, water, I guess, availability. Um, it's kind of dry up here where I'm at, so we'll just do what we gotta do, make it work. See you all in the morning. Good morning, y'all, and happy 4th of July. Got my little American flag here with me, flying it proudly, and we are headed north, back on the trail. Like I said last night, don't really know where I'm gonna make it to today. We're just gonna go. Uh, yep, that's it. I'll come back and show you a little bit of the trail. Delp Spring. <clears throat> Had to walk. Point four off the AT to get here. It's gonna be another point four back up, but that's what I needed right there. Water. Woo. That's that's what I needed. 
headed to Leroy Smith shelter. Actually, I'm not really going to it. I'm going towards it. I think it's point two off of the trail and uh, there's really nothing there for me. So probably just gonna bypass it. Um, still really don't know what my plans are for the day. I'd love to get to Kirkridge shelter, which is in like 18 miles, but <laughs> I'm not, not moving very good today. Nothing's wrong really. Uh, just, you know, just dragging, it's hot. Water is scarce. Had to go down to that spring and back up. That was point, uh, point eight round trip. And it was a steep point eight, so that wasn't much fun. But uh, seeing some bear tracks on the trail right now, pretty good sized tracks. And I've got my bug net uh, <laughs> kind of perched up there. Bugs are bad, but uh, otherwise, it's uh, pretty good 4th of July. Just headed north. All right. Starting to climb up out of Wind Gap. Went over to the Gateway Motel, filled up my water bottle, so I've got some water. Uh, I'm just going to try to make it up to this next shelter. And we'll see how far we can go. Made it up on top of Wind Gap. <laughs> Man, I've just not got much done today. I don't really know what it is either. I'm just kind of dragging. It's not... I feel fine, you know. Uh, <laughs> but I have just been lazy today. Anyway. I'm going to try to find something on up here still like to get my 20 at least 20 in for the day uh hoping maybe there can be i can find a campsite or something up here all right i'm gonna keep trudging along see you in a bit i'm still walking no luck on any campsites. Turning into a real nightmare scenario. Uh, everything's just rock. It's just, it's just rock. No campsites, uh, you know, no water. Although there is a spring in about two miles, which is where I'm headed I guess right now uh, you know hopefully there's something around that if not I'm gonna push on to the shelter I guess and that's gonna force me to do some night hiking um, uh, you know it's just kind of a crappy situation but we'll uh, we'll make it through it I'll see you guys in a bit. Found something that I can work with, I believe. So I'm gonna get set up. I'll see you guys in the morning. And we'll be headed to Delaware Water Gap. All right. Good morning, guys. Just broke camp. I'm 10 miles out from Delaware Water Gap. Uh, should get there around lunchtime, so get some lunch, get some laundry done, hopefully stay at the little donation-based uh, church hostel there. That's kind of my plan. Uh, right now I gotta get up here, get some water, and uh, do the wolf rocks, and then head on in, so I'll come back in a bit. Heading across Wolf Rocks. Kind of reminiscent of the knife's edge, but doesn't look as sheer. Got some water back at that spring. Needed that. 
probably gonna get some more when I get up here to this Kirkridge shelter, which is in a couple miles. And then it's on to Delaware Water Gap. Right on. I wanna say something about Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania gets this really bad rap. Everybody on the trail is kind of scared that Pennsylvania is this rock maze or something. That every step you take is on a rock. That's not true. That's really not true at all. Um, there has been times in Pennsylvania, specifically these last three days, where it has been extra rocky and I've noticed it. But the first two thirds of Pennsylvania is really nice. There's a lot of flat. Well, heck, I mean, Pennsylvania really, the whole state is probably the flattest state I've walked through yet. Um, just the elevation doesn't change much you know you you have to climb every so often and once you get to the top you know you're walking on a ridge that's been really nice and that's something that Pennsylvania should be known for um, is it's ridge walks because that's uh, what you're doing a lot of so if you're watching this and you're thinking about through hiking and you're thinking about, oh, Pennsylvania, Roxylvania. It's really not that bad. I've not minded it much at all. Um, so yeah, I love Pennsylvania, just like I love the rest of the trail. It's all good. What's up guys? Made it to Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania. I'm at Church of the Mountain Hiker Center here. I mean, you've got a little hostel, a little bunk room, so that's where I'm hanging out tonight. It's a donation-based hostel. Very nice, uh, very nice place, very nice pe people. I'm real happy to be here and really happy to be uh, getting into New Jersey tomorrow. So that's the plan. Gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, Pennsylvania was fun and I did enjoy it. Uh, it gets a bad rap. It's not as rocky uh, as they say. Um, so it was a fun time. And like I said, happy to be heading into New Jersey in the morning. And I'll see you guys then. All right, take care.